Regala's army only... Regala's forces may seem strong now, but... Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still, they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Dekka, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaru. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. Uh, visions. I'm sure they're just like holograms. Hikaru. Ask her about the visions. These visions. You said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones. Who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions. Etched in our flesh. Passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark. But chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Carl wants to see me. Um, I think I just go to to Carl. All right, Akaro. Let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room at the far end of the grove. Come, be welcome among the records of the ten. All right, let's go. What's this? It's glitched. Incomplete. Their full truths are lost to us. It's a chaplain's duty to make sense of these visions as best we can. The Ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. Mm. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. For the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. So it's like a museum. During their war, the Ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength. Something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. Oh, that's why they call themselves the Tanakh. What's this one about? The Ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the Desert Clan does the same. 
You must have passed through their territory on the way here. I did. They uh, seem a little extreme. Get they this one for a compliment. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect moment to strike. Generations ago, my What's clan, the What's Lowland, this? looked to this Carl one for Sphere. inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. Is it bugged? What's this? It was planted there by the chief. Ask him if you're curious. It's his tale to tell. Okay. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? Yeah. I'm ready. Good. Come. I will see you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. A man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now and taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition. But since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the cool root. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north 
and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool root with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Root, what's this? I don't know what that is. What exactly is the cool root? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool root. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. Um, I don't really have any more questions. I'll do what you want and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised if you succeed. Speak to Deca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Deco? Deca. Sir? What is this? What the hell is this? She looked like that. Yeah. Oh wait, the spear. What was that? Some long-winded story or some mess. Best move up. Marshal Cotalo is waiting for you. Oh, I got that. Wait, never mind. What else do you need? I should go. Dismissed. I can't talk with him about the spear. I guess we'll never know. Come, let us speak. Hikaru said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Okay. Cleveland bow, sharp, Cleveland sharp, sharp bow. Let me see what that is. I know I got Q's sharp shot bow. Uh, that's it. Place Q's. Uh, oh, that's 69. 69 damage. If I'm gonna get ether, guess I'll have to play along with Akaro. I better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. Damn, that's a thousand meters, eh? Hey? I don't know about a bristle back. I'm gonna have to take it. Oh no. Run. He suck. I'm not fighting him. In between. Come on. I don't think I can go inside of it. Just 
I'm just saying. Since I know it's down here. That's one of those radio tower things. This is where Zoe said we found the Grim Horns she needs parts from to heal Plain Song's land. Hey Zoe, I'm near the Grim Horn site. Can you join me? I'll be there soon. Aloy, I'm glad we can do this together. The Grimhorns we're looking for should be just to the north. Let's go get those control cores. Okay. I didn't mean to do Thank this you quest. Again for helping me. If this works, if we can heal the land gods, it will end a generation of suffering for my people. How do you think Fame and the chorus will take it? They seem to think the tribe's extinction is inevitable. I've had my disagreements there. with them, but the Grimhorns. Okay. I'd like to see they'll be happy to be wrong. Oh, I gotta kill this thing. That is giant! Is that one alive? She up. Like sleeping? Oof. What the fuck are you doing? It's one, two. That's a big one, two big ones. Traps. I think this used to be a Tanakh hunting ground. Okay. Maybe we can use them to our advantage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this thing? Yes. Acid in the horns. What are you doing? Hmm, must have been the wind. Two on. It's gonna get us killed. Scan. 
ending though. Had to. Move. Ooh, that was a good shot. So got him. So we're in a fire. I'm out. Oh, big one. Whoa! Where you come from? Where are you going? Bro's grenades and shit. In between his legs. Oh, he was using explosives on me. That's how he. Oh! I can keep going. That's how he got me the first time. Shit, man. Oh, he thought it was over. <laughs> no. The sky wing. Get whatever I need. Let's go back. In the top part. Ah, I missed it. I'm out. I'm wasting it. Need to wait. Climb! In the mountains! Shouldn't even be up here. Go, 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 go. Go back to Zoe. There you are. I thought you'd left me. I gotta move, I'm getting. Oh, these. Whatever these things are. Oh. Oh, there's two of them. That's one. The other grim huh? Oh, 
Shit, yeah. on target. Sword piece. Oh no. It's coming. That was a good idea to put acid. I mean, um, RPGs or grenade launchers on a animal like this, robotic animal at most. Come on, gotta have a second. She down? Bro, oh, better pick yourself back up. Should've gave her, um, like infinite health or something. That's cool. Whoa, what the fuck? I'm over here. How? Let's get those control cores. Another one. I know resources. How much shit is that? Hey, we got time to reload.
That dumbass doing it. They're getting whoa, is that a gunshot? It's heard like two of them. something in here. Ancient sculpture. God, you don't need to be that close to me. Come on. This AI is so annoying. I'm gonna try a running gun attack, see if it works. Mr. It's cannon fodder. Ah, they blew it up. Cannot move. Why does it take so long to put down a trap? Adhesive. I know it's acid, but I'm. Halfway out. I mean, out. It's 
the part that keeps launching those annoying ass missiles. What the f? He teleported. It's like a fucking speed burst, man. What the shit is it? Acid traps. The fuck would I revive someone if the animation takes this long? Like, look at that. I. Oh my god. See, I was about to get killed right there if I had that move. Like, she can get herself up at that point. See, if I move back over. Stuff off. Hmm. Bro, stop. Fishing blow. Ah. 
I hit? Another one. It's halfway. Still did something. I'm literally stuck. What the fuck is she doing? Why is she climbing? Fucking idiot. He's already dead. she do that? What the fuck did she do that? Get down. What the fuck? I don't know why she did it. Oh, I'm dead. If I die, I'm gonna be somewhere. Got the control cores? I can take them from here. Make it. What are you doing? Two control cores as requested. Thank you. Gaia showed me a way to scan them and take what we need to update the reboot code. 
I'll head back to base and get started. When I was a child, there was always enough to eat. The land gods provided for us, and every season we celebrated them. My happiest memories come from those times. Do you really think we can bring them back? We'll make it happen. Thank you, Aloy. <laughs>